Whoa, now what's happening with y'all out there? Check this out. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go again. Say, man, we four days in the 2024. And they hitting us with distractions like, bam, 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 bam. Hey, let me tell y'all something. 2023 was a tough year, man. But 2024 finna be destruction. It's a lot of things that's going on right now that's got people minds all over the place. Like the Jeffrey Weinstein list or whatever. Man, who gives a fuck about that list? Who gives a fuck about who's on that list? That right there ain't going to solve anything because if if it was a problem, trust me, <laughs> it'll been a problem. That's that's rich people shit. You feel me? What you need to be worried about is what's going on over there in that Red Sea. What's going on over there with, you know what I'm saying, Iran and the United States. What's coming across your motherfucking border. And I ain't talking about the Hispanic people. I'm talking about the motherfucking terrorists that's coming over there through that bed. The motherfuckers that's coming over here to cause destruction over here. Look at your boy Mark Zuckerberg building a billion dollar bunker. He ain't doing that shit because he got money. He's doing that shit because he see a threat and there's something bad finna get ready to happen. And he trying to save his ass. Y'all get on his platforms. Y'all making money so he can build that type of things. Y'all put all y'all information on his platform so he can eat off of that. But guess what? He ain't going to tell you what he building that bunker for. He ain't going to tell you when the time is near and he have to use that bunker. That's why he keeping it top secret. They ain't gonna, and guess what? They ain't going to tell y'all about this new virus that done hit. Why the hospital's packed right now. The shit looking like 2020 right now. All that pneumonia, getting sick. People catch people people going down for the count just like that. They ain't talking about that type of shit because they got y'all talking about Cat Williams. They got y'all talking about a list. They got y'all talking about these rappers and these singers and these entertainers. Man, fuck them. Because at the end of the day, none of them ain't going to be able to save you when the bullshit hit. You feel me? Y'all better keep y'all head on the swivel, man, and your eyes on the sparrow, man. All the signs are around you. The warning is out there. It's up to you, you know what I'm saying? If you want to save yourself, man. I don't trust shit that's going on in this country right now, man. This, this motherfucker falling apart, and it's falling apart fast. Y'all better stop falling for the okie dope and get some skin on your head and start paying attention. Man, y'all stay up out there and get it out the mud. All right, shalom, 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 shalom. La habakarium, shal, yashal, Peace to the elect of Israel. Started with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of these so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners, Hebrew Israelites who are scattered among all other nations worldwide. Shalom to all of you. Before we get started with this lesson, let's face the East. And let's give the much due all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, Koholoyim La, Abanawa, Alahayanawa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. The Buana said the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, Sensei Akim, that's laboring in the works. Shalom to you believers, to the Akim wa Akwa, which be you brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. Abarazazah, this lesson is very edifying, very, well, Abarazazah, the lesson is edifying and very plain upon the tables. All right, I'm your brother Malkaya, out here in Pasadena, Texas. So it's going to be a quick response to this lesson. Uh, right. You know, don't get too distracted by. By this, by by Satan devices. Let me get that right quick. Let me get back to this one. Don't get distracted. All right. All right. Keep uh, be occupied in prophecies. But let's we'll get this right quick. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter two, verse 11. All right. So the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. Lee Satan 
should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Satan, in this instance, referring to the elites of this society, an example, the Illuminati's, right? The wicked elites. The wicked elites. Uh, let's see the picture of the wicked elites. All right. The wicked elites. All right. So-called Caucasians, Edomites. They're very leaders, right? The wicked elites. All right. Emelech, the Emelechites. So the, the, the Jewish people. All right. <clears throat> All right. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. All right. The wicked elites. So at least Satan, right? The, uh, the Illuminati's. The wicked elites should get an advantage of us. Advantage of who? Right? The hopeful elect. The elect. Abarats is our way of the elect. All right? The 144,000 elect men. All right? And then, of course, the uh, the great multitude of the believers, the other Israelite men, women, and children. That makes up the, the remnant, right? The one-third. All right? Uh, for we are not ignorant of his devices, right? Lacking... Awareness or knowledge of. Uh, trying to copy that instead. Uh, let's see. I want to get the, the common dictionary. Let's see. Salakia. Yeah. Let's see. Open a new tab. All right. You know what? Ignorant definition. Ignorant. All right, so the first one for the adjective, lacking knowledge or awareness in general. You get lacking knowledge, information, or awareness about a particular thing, right? And what's that particular thing? The agenda of the wicked elites trying to fulfill the end of you all. Throwing a lot of distractions in it. Okay. All right. The signs and times that we in. Very evil times, man. At least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right. Let's see. An evil purpose. All right. Devices, you also get uh, schemes, tricks, devices, right? Schemes, tricks. Uh, another similar term is uh, wows, right? Wows, W I L E S, if I'm not mistaken. All right, <clears throat> and one of their many devices that they'll put out the whole Espen Island list out there, what these celebrities got going on, you know, uh, bread and circuits, right? The, 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 the championship of this uh, team versus against this team, a lot of you know, uh, Entertainment, right? Distracting people with entertainment, uh, diverting their mind, uh, divert the mente, if I'm not mistaken, that's how you pronounce it. Divert the mente, right? Distract the mind with fun, goodies, bread and circus, entertainment, fun. Okay? So let's go back here real quick. The book of Ecclesiasticus, also, uh, Salakia, uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus also known as Sirach, chapter 39, verse 1, in the Apocrypha, KJV. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Okay, we are being occupied in uh, events that is to come to pass, like the evil times, like Jacob's trouble, the MOTB, right? The micro C hip, the hour of temptation, another uh, lockdown, which is going to be very draconian, martial law being implemented, right? Warlike law, having these troops out here, that's not even from America. You're right, you're foreign troops, Gurgle troops, okay? 
a lawless society, sedition among men. Okay, the draft for World War Three. And you no, know, the day of the Lord. Okay, which is of darkness and, and, and gloominess and not light, just paraphrasing. Going to be occupied in fu uh, uh, future events. Okay, so don't get distracted by the nonsense, the devices of Satan, the Illuminati, the wicked, the, the Illuminati, the wicked elites. Okay, be occupied on prophecies. Okay, uh, let's see. Be sober, be vigilant. Oh, my bad. Vigilant. All right, so the book of First Peter, chapter 5, verse 8 in the KJV. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, right, the wicked elites, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour, right? Even spiritual Satan is, is walking around as a roaring lion, as a roaring lion walking about seeking may devour. And he's putting that spirit on the wicked elites, you know, to become more desperate, to try to throw brothers off the truth, to throw you off your watch post, to leave you, to, to have you leave the fate, to have you uh, go against our power. Okay. All right. This is a spiritual warfare we're in, a spiritual battlefield. Okay. Going against what? Principalities. All right. Um. So we're definitely in a time where we need to be sober, okay? Physically and spiritually, right? You don't want to be an alcoholic drinking too damn much, okay? To where, you know, you're pretty much vulnerable to be attacked. And spiritually, right, to be sober, to be calm and collected in spirit. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. Right, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at thy times. We can apply the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashmi Shai on our day to day walk. Your walk today. You did it in your walk yesterday. You did it in your walk two days ago. You did it in your walk when you first came in to the faith, right? You started growing, right? How much more now when 2024 already started off with a bang? The spirit already came on to uh, Elder Apostle Tahar decreeing 2024 being a hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right. And that spirit trickled down to the brothers. We all can feel it through the spirit. Our Rats is that this is that year. So we got to be sober, calm, collective in the spirit. Okay. Because as a warrior in the actual battlefield, if you're not sober, if you're not calm, collective in the spirit, right? You won't be able to be circumspect. You won't be able to make logical decisions. Okay? You will be put to death or injured very badly. Or you can cause one of your brothers, right? One of your soldiers, one of your brothers to get hurt, to get killed. Okay? If you're not sober, come and collect in your spirit. All right? All right? You know, when you're out there in your day-to-day -day walk, all right, be mindful of your surroundings, okay? All right, be calm when you're walking out there. Be calm, be collective. So you can better observe effectively. So you can be vigilant, right? To be vigilant, right? So you're able to watch. You're able to give strict attention to. You're able to be cautious, a lot more cautious. You can focus better in the battlefield, okay? To take heed, least through remission and indolence, some destructive calamity suddenly overtake one. Right? When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them. Right? As woman in travail, it is just paraphrasing. Right? So you don't want to get caught slipping, I guess you could say. All right? You want, want to be watching. We're soldiers. All right, we're soldiers, and the soldier is focused on the mission, focused on understanding that he is in the midst of enemies. All right, our enemies come looking like everybody today. Some of them look like us, some of them look like your average 
a so-called Negro, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native American Indian. Some of them like speckled birds. Some of them like Edomites. Right? Two-thirds is vice, pretty much. Actual Edomites are actual heathens. Right? Men, women, children, young, old. Right? You gotta be sober and vigilant. Okay? Vigilant. And vigilant, you also get, uh, let's get some more, like, like common dictionaries, uh, because you get to be alert. Let's see. Keeping careful watch for possible danger. Vigilant. Difficulties. Vigilant. Right. Mind you, Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, just paraphrasing that in the last days, I'll be perilous times, dangerous times. So because of that, we have to be more vigilant. And in order to be effective at being vigilant as a watchman, right, being able to keep careful watch for possible danger and difficulties, right, to be watchful, to be on the lookout, to give strict attention to, to be alert, on alert, ready for possible danger, right? You got to be sober, calm and collective in the mind, spirit, the body, right? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at times, man. Isaiah 33 and 6. All right, don't get distracted by the folly, the bullshit out here, man, by saying devices. All right. Uh, there's another one that comes to mind. Uh, walk circumspectly. Let's see. Yeah, so the book of Ephesians. Chapter 5, verse 15 and 16. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We are in a time of war and hate, not love and peace. All right. Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse eight, if I'm not mistaken. A time to love, a time to hate, a time of war, a time of peace. It's paraphrasing. We're in a time of war, a time of hate, a time where iniquity is going to continue to abound, to increase. Right. Wickedness, sin upon sin to increase, which is going to cause the love of man to wax colder and colder and colder, creating more hate towards one another. A neighbor having no pity upon each other. All right. So the days are evil. It's going to get much more evil. So walk circumspectly, right? Circumspect is a similar term for vigilant. So be on, on your 360 watch. You know, see what's you know, see what's around you. Give strict attention to. Do it in a calm and collective spirit. Be sober. So you can be able to understand what you're looking at. Looking for possible dangers. There's anything different. You know, walking through the spirit, not the flesh. Listen to the spirit. It's like, okay, some, some, some doesn't feel right. Let me not walk over here. Let me walk this way instead. All right? Let me do this instead of that. Like, let me do this or that instead. You know? Trying to be as safe as possible. Trying to be uh, wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Okay? All right? Don't get caught up with what the people in this world got going on, man. All right, because there's a lot more going on than what these people think. There's evils constantly growing day in and day out, man. All right, so stay on your watch, uh, Akim. That's, you know, you brothers who are blessed, ordained to be a watchman, a prophet. So everyone else, you know, all the other flock, of Yahweh Bashmi Shai can, you know, pretty much uh, be on point, up to date on what's going on. All right. So Abu Ras is out the lesson was edifying. Just try to keep it another straight to the point, playing upon the tables. All right. It's only going to get worse out here. The days will get much more evil. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5, right, if I'm not mistaken, that an evil and only evil has come. Right. Bad times, man. Bad times. All right. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. Second Ezra is uh, 16. 
I think 21. What it said is the victory. So I'll be so, yeah. The wild that I'll be how about shit me outside. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 21. And a lot of people are going to get caught slipping. They're going to get caught up in that snare uh, suddenly. Because, like, you know, for, uh, because the victory is being so good cheap. Right, for an example, Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 21, the Apocrypha, KJV. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth. Right, your victuals, right? Your daily bread, your fools, right? Your amenities, your provisions, right? You still got it good, right? Gas is still, it's, you know, certain places, like, for example, here in Texas, the gas is fucking dirt that cheap. Where I'm at. Out here in Pasadena. Full, the, 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 the victuals of food is still good, cheap. The gas is still cheap. Um, the cost of living is, is still cheap. Uh, let's see. What else? Your, your bills, you know, you still got it. You can still afford your bills. You can still keep a roof over your head. You can pay your phone bill, your car, your car notes, your insurance. Yada, 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 right? Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth. Sword. So right, think of destruction, right? Wars, right? Missiles being exchanged. ICBMs, right, back and forth. In World War Three, right? When it really pops off. And even then shall evils grow, right? Bad times. Upon earth. Sword. Famine. Right? Uh, lack of victuals. Food. Resources. Right? Which is going to lead to what? A hunger. Uh, uh, the, the plague of famine, right? Starvation, hunger. And great confusion. Behold, victory shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth. Sore, famine, and great confusion. So because there's a lot of Americans out here that still got it good. They still got it good financially. All right, they safe their 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 delusional safe bubble hasn't been popped yet by how Bashmi was shy by his prophecies, right? Even though there's many videos going on out there, many many lessons, many videos, news reports, news articles that it's not looking too good for America 2024, but because he, she, them, they, you. Think that everything is is peace and safety. There's plenty. You got it good. Evil is growing. It's getting bad out here. It's getting worse and worse and worse and worse to where one day it's going to reach your little bubble. It's going to pop that shit. And now you're going to experience Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33, for an example, right? Behold, all these things come to pass, lo and will. Then shall they know a prophet has been among them. Just paraphrasing, right? The biggest I told you so. Pop your bubble, right? The NLT version for that. Um, when all these terrible things happen to them, then shall they know a prophet has been among them. Just paraphrasing, right? Evils are growing. So uh, stay on your watch post, Akium. Fuse some sisters out there. You know, be wise out there. You know, all right, be careful out there. All right. Be sober, be vigilant, all right? Be, be circumspect, all right? Be careful out there. I brought this out the list. It was edifying. Hopefully you learned something. Let's close out by giving a much ado, all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rechak, Kudas, and double honor to the apostles and elders and bishops of great millstone. And much due respect to you since they are Akim that's laboring in the works. And shall want to you believe us. To the Aki and Wa'akwa, which would be you brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. I barat you is edified. Alright. Kwam Yah